Yeah. During a quiet night in Ryu, Agnia and Nakari hear the sounds of beautiful instrument drifting in the wind. It's cool. Hey, Ikari, you hear that? Autoplay, please. What a pleasant sound. I could listen to it all day. That's a lute, an instrument well loved in Ku. It's like a small guitar. Think like akin to like a banjo. That song was beautiful. It's been too long since I've heard the melodies of a lute in the air. Far and wide, people speak of me in awe. Today, tomorrow, and the day after that. They call me Yomi of a Thousand Tones. It's impressive. Wow, what a name. I've traveled to every corner of this world, taking in my fill of its music along the way. I have a song for every occasion, every place, every person. <sighs> You've piqued my interest. Let's have one then. Gladly, provided you have the coin. My thousand tones were mastered at great effort, after all. I hmm. You have money, right, Hikari? Hmm. Alright, bribe. <laughs> I have a. A lutist known well for the desert is the only of the thousand tones. She knows a great number of songs and has been widely praised for delivering tailored performances that move her listeners' hearts. Interesting. Is this enough, Lady Yomi? Of course. This shall buy you a song. If I give someone eight hundred dollars, they better fucking you play me a well song. As your finest kimono. However, hmm? Hmm. I require time to make ready. Return to me tomorrow eve, and you shall have what you paid for. Is she gonna dip? Ah, behind every great show is hours of preparation. Just so. Now gird your hearts, for tomorrow they shall be moved as they never have been before. Okay. Welcome, welcome! Oh, wow. My audience of two has arrived! Now, listen well, and be carried away by my thousand tones. Hmm? Something seems... different about her, doesn't it? Yes. It appears she's already spent our payment on those fine clothes. <laughs> Alas, I must apologize, for I cannot carry you away just yet. Uh-huh. I've come into a spot of trouble, you see. I have you a have? feeling that she's a scam artist. Look here. The string of my lute has frayed. Uh, that our song will have to wait. Indeed. It is ten. Oh, we wouldn't want mm -hmm. that happening. We're gonna have to pay if the If I recall, one. lute strings are made from the hair of a horse's tail, yes? Indeed, there is but one man. He'll have no truck with a wanderer such as I. Reminds me of Papa. Then maybe you can help him see reason. Can I count on you? You don't need to ask. I'll see what I can do. And treat someone for a horse's hair. Probably to do with the horse, yeah. Poor horse. 
Oh shit. Misclick. Will this work, Yummy? Oh, I believe it will. This is finer than I could have imagined. I see you too can move the hearts of others. <laughs> you might be right about that. With this, I can craft a string worthy of my skill. However, I fear the. Oh my god. <laughs> Pray come again tomorrow. Somehow I'm not. Yeah, I'm with Hikari. Just... No way mm -hmm. we'll make the music. If you insist, you're generous with the benefit of the doubt, I see. I'm not buying it either, to be honest. Make for a hill where the moon is visible. For you, do you ever stay in the same spot? My sincerest apologies for the. However, I had no choice but to go where I could best drink it. Uh huh. I mean, I'm sure it's beautiful. I really do. That's a giant moon. But music, please. You're right. It's enchanting. Also, that moon has some serious fucking blue. I wanted its dulcet rays to alight upon my loot. Tonight, I perform upon it. All thanks to you. Mm -hmm. I hope this is worth the trouble. It will be. I don't know why they don't actually sing. That's a little confusing to me. If they're gonna voice the entire game, I wanna actually have some like music talent, like vocal singers to it. Yeah, it's pretty. I was moved. It's very but melancholy. Somehow, melancholy? Colin? I feel so. By the light of the heart, a favorite of mine. The clothes, the strings. It is the only way to perform this song correctly. Yomi, why did you choose this song to play for us? I've heard it before. I had a friend who would often play the lute for me. She always struck warm tones to match the warmth in her heart. Uh, was? But you played the song much differently than she did. You painted it with melancholy. Hey, melancholy. Well, then, not melancholy. Not it's, a, uh, it's a word I always have trouble enunciating. So ends the dancer. Alright. Not bad. So next, uh, let's do Thief and... The Thief and the Priest. Let's just go. So Thief, Priest, Skull. So let me just get Thief, Priest on the team. Mercy? Nope, none of that. 
Or you'll be putting a timeout. Right, okay. Um, let's do this one. 16. You're going timeout. You're doing good. Sleeping on the couch. Cleric and Thief. The Flame Church Throne tells Temino. In Flame Church, Throne tells Temino some rumors she heard regarding a certain treasure in the cathedral. Treat the Inquisitor decides to help her to investigate. Huh, what could possibly go wrong? Home sweet home. Though I suppose there's nothing really sweet about it. A cathedral. I think I also need to turn the voices up. Well, a well, Prone. Is there something you'd like to confess? The voices are a little quiet. Not I, mean, really. I didn't. I don't. I, didn't, I just remembered something. I didn't touch any settings, but also in like previous of episodes, I noticed that the audio was a little low. Huh. There's not a thief out there who doesn't love treasure. Is that a coin? Only a fool cares for charred coin. Reach into the fire, and you'll get burned. But you'll also have a coin. No good thief fears a little fire. Yeah. I once made a bet with my companions on whether the rumors were true or not. The treasure was called Alpatis. Alpatis. That name does sound familiar. Why is his voice so much quieter than hers? Well, you've certainly piqued my interest. Then, what say we investigate, detective? I would love to, but alas, I am a messenger of the gods, and you, a thief. I'm not looking to steal anything, I just- So you say, but something tells me you have other motives. I don't know why his voice is- uh, I don't. It's on my end, but his voice is so quiet. Very well then, Throne. Let the search for clues begin. Alright, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna... Let's just do that real quick. Op Octopath Traveler. Let's turn it up two notches and see how that goes. This is so mean. I will get answers. It's so brutal. <laughs> Poor old man. Where was I? Break your yeah. face. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> How's that for you? Yeah. To work. I think not. Yeah. Yeah. Now die. <laughs> I'll break <laughs> your kneecaps, old man. Carpenter of a deal friend of the Pont of York, and the trust between the two was so great that he even that he was even privy to church secrets. Though he feigns forgetfulness to keep himself out of trouble's way, his memory is still quite sharp. Ah, the Inquisitor. I suppose I could tell you about it. The Pontiff once swore me to secrecy, you see. How intriguing. Why is he but we so must quiet? speak elsewhere. Take me to the pontiff's chambers in the cathedral. May the sacred flame guide us, or something. Mm. Ah, yes, guiding is Temenos's specialty. Like her, is it? Is this like a bug? Either Throne's voice is so loud, or everyone else's voice is. Guide the cause. Come, my. The Pontiff's chambers, we can talk there. Hey, customer! Monkey. Where was I? Uh, How's that for you? Right. <laughs> Eat this! All tidied up. Get tidy. Clean up your room.
I suggest you get out of my way. Ready? Huh? Hmm. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing here? I ain't got nothing to do here. I'm gonna turn this down to my ear. Huh. Well, well, now. What? What is this? New people. What? I am screaming. Hidden item. Okay. It's not really hidden if it's in a house, but I digress. I'll keep trying this. He knows something. Dude, it's 60%. What? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Usually if it has a high percent chance to fail, there's a good reason why. Ah, give me that nut. Very good. Very, very good. Sir, how are you today? Well, hmm. the cathedral. I didn't know it was open. What? A hidden item in the church. You hiding from God? Blasphemy. What? Truly blasphemous. Well, there's a question here. No point. Or it's well, hidden item. We take those. What? I'll just buy for a hundred. Might as well. Right. Light wand. Ooh. That was risky. Guide with ease. Okay. What? Nice. Rod of wisdom. Don't need a rod of wisdom. Hey, what's your what's your quest? We've made no progress whatsoever in repairing the window. Holiness would be heartbroken if we knew our cathedral was still bored on the most beloved feature. We lacked the materials to make the repairs, so we had one large soul stone of each. Large soul stone. Okay. I don't think I even have a single large soul stone. Buckler. What? What's this? Nice. Free shit, free shit, free shit, free shit. Ooga, 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 ooga. It's a big ass bed. Will this area suffice, good sir? Yes, thank you. Ordinary bookshelf, but... The mischievous gods couldn't help themselves. Well, my, my, my. He's so quiet, dude. Why? Why? Now then, my job here is done. Like the carpenter, yeah, he's quiet, but at least like he can hear him. Temenos, like, you, you can barely hear him. sacred flame light your path. Or something. What a strange old man. Let's go, Temina. A hidden passageway. Maybe what his holiness so wasn't so holy. Just... <laughs> Thank you, man. Are you coming or not, I'm glad Detective? It's approved. Goodness, it's not easy working with thieves. System. Damn, this is intricate. Really? No one saw this upper staircase and ever thought, like, hmm, I wonder how you get up there. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. The fucking pontiff was just like, dum 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 dum. Let's go. Hold on. How do I go down here? What happens if I go down? <gasps> Ooh! Angel's ring. I bit my tongue. Ow. The fuck does this do? It is not what I thought it would be. Okay. That's SP plus 50. Do I want a 20 less FP for magic defense? Sure. I got some on my eye. Trade that 20 and put that somewhere else? Sure. You know what? Why not? I wish it was like a self revive or something. But I suppose that's a little too busted. Oh. Hello. Who goes there? Someone's here. What? I am an agent of the Pontiff. Oh, here we go. So you could say? His voice is like better now. Oh. A friend of his holiness? My sincerest apologies. Allow me to introduce myself. Alpates? I am Alpatis. Alpatis. You are Alpatis? So Alpatis isn't a treasure? Hey, Alpatis, let's throw a party. My clan has taken the Alpatis name for generations. Hmm. The Pontiff has safeguarded us here for years. No one comes but to bring us food. Oh, that's sad. You've been here your whole life? Like a caged bird. A caged bird? <laughs> I suppose you could say that. Speaking of his holiness... Oh, sorry to I'm afraid the pontiff is no longer with us. Ah, I see. You're not... Disturbed by this news. What are you looking at? Are we I can see a flame burning within you. A flame? Hmm. Yes. It burns within both of you. It seems the time has come for me to fulfill my mission. There is something I must leave with you, please. So we finally get to like a rock. This is quite a cloudy mirror. <sighs> is this meant to this now, Throne? I thought you said you hadn't other motives for coming. <sighs> I must return to my clan. Your mission? Yeah, where are you going? Uh... Careful. Oh. You can barely stand. Thank you. Let us meet again someday. You too? Do you hope for the dawn? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, I'm, I'm getting weird vibes from her. Like, okay. Crazy lady. I never suspected a broken mirror to be the treasure. I kind of want to go back up there woman? because... The pontiff kept her a secret. I wonder if there was a chest me. back there. She must be very important. Should we have stopped her? I wonder what her mission was. This voice is my It doesn't quiet. matter. It looks like there was no treasure in the end. The rumor was false. Well, treasure is subjective. To the pontiff, she was probably a treasure. Alpatis. The treasure hidden in a cathedral. Shrouded in mystery. Said to have been left behind by the gods. Hmm. Must not have been very important then. <laughs> I'm tired of all these tall tales. Aren't you, Throne? Oh yeah, I forgot about Downey. No. He doesn't I think really it's last true. Long, to be fair. That's what my gut tells me. Your gut's never steered us wrong before. Let's say we have a bet. Let's. I say that there is a Then we bet there's Even you, Piero? Every thief knows it's best to play it safe. How perfectly dull of you. 
<laughs> like taking risks ever did us any favors. Well, we'll find out the truth if the mm. gods decide to show us any favor. I'll hold on to these until then. Hold it all you like, Throne. Just don't steal it, all right? Well, my friend, it looks like I lost our bet. Throne? Let's go, Temenos. Goodness, it's truly not easy. Okay, it's not easy to fucking understand you my myself. Okay. Anyway, that was good. That was a nice end of the part one. I'm gonna go back just because there might be some extra goodies. And I want to know if there's more goodies. So you can go back. Doop doop dab up Oh, okay. So there is no there's nothing else here. Alright. Now we gotta do the last one available to us right now. Scholar and merchant. Oswald and Patricio had arrived in Metropolis for New Delta. The liveliness of the city is unlike anything they've ever experienced before, and they can only wonder what lies in store. Oh! Oh, complete. But to say. Oh, is that? Oh, no. I wonder if it... I don't, it doesn't look like anyone on our team. I mean, other than Temenos. Look here, partner. Whole place is wild as an unbroken horse. The raw energy is incomparable to anything I felt in prison. And the air, it's so fresh. <laughs> Smells like a deal to me. I bet you can't help but trip over opportunity in a town like this. Well, he certainly tripped over something. Uh, hey, what's the matter, fella? I am a scholar. But I am soon to starve and become a useless lump of meat. Okay. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Here, have a bite of this bread. Oh. My savior! <laughs> okay. Oh! My hero. Ah, you have saved me. Yes, thanks to you, I can continue my scholarly pursuits. Good gracious. This is my first meal in three days, nine hours, and 23 minutes. <laughs> That's sad, man. Now, hang on. You telling me you were counting minutes even as you were dying of hunger? Once a scholar... It is in a scholar's nature to keep records, no matter how dire the situation. Isn't that right, Regulus? Oh, they know each Oswald? Other. It is you, isn't it? Oswald! Huh? You two know each other? <laughs> we were friends in our academy days. <laughs> it has been quite some time. We'd frequently bring the fruits of our research to bear in our spirited discussions, huh? So then, what brought you here? <laughs> Procuring research materials, old fellow. <laughs> Not food, clearly. For a, uh, hold your applause, a uh, earth-shattering invention. Oh, sounds nice. What is it? Most curious. Shall we talk it over? Oh, how this takes me back, Oswald. Let us do so, over drinks. 
If we're in agreement, well, I shall go right on ahead. Since I'm here... Never mind, I don't know what you need. Alt. Shit. He's like, give me this. You give it to him. He's like, fuck you. How dare you? He gives me money. Like, okay. Okay, we got a fucking badass over here. To the stars. To the stars. To which we mere mortals turn our gaze and use to delineate our dreams. Though they are far. Far beyond our grasp. <laughs> and so, I have devised a device that will allow us to bring them right before our eyes. I call it the Astronomical Telescope. Oh, okay. Hooey! The stars have been humanity's guide since time immemorial. They know the truth of this world. But I shall be the one to lay their mysteries bare. You haven't changed a bit, Regulus. Golly, that there's one astronomical-sized dream. Hmm. Well, go on. Show us this telescope of yours, Regulus. You've piqued my interest as well. Is it complete? It will be soon. Rather, it was supposed to be. Now, if only I had hit it big at the game parlor, I would have oh secured the God. last of my funds. Uh. You don't mean... The odds were ever in my favor, but the stars abandoned me. You just misread your odds. Betting is a simple matter of probability. You've always had an exceptionally keen mind, but you're a fool when it comes to money. I see you have not mellowed with age. Say, Regulus, how much coin you got in those pockets of yours? This is all I have to my name. Yep, you sure are hard up. You were hoping we'd treat you to food and drinks from the start, weren't you? <laughs> oh hell, you got me all riled up now. What say you give me that coin? Invest this coin in me, and I reckon I can get you everything hmm. you need for your telescope. That's cute. No, don't incur my We need three components in order to complete my astronomical... A metal working tool, a mirror, and a precision lens. Particio here shall control all the funds. Mm -hmm. Yep, leave it to me, friend. I shall await you in the square. In I pray to the stars. You'll get no help from me. Indulging him never ends well. <laughs> well, all right then. Was me that got the boasting anyhow. 
Interesting. Now, I better get negotiating. Six hundred coins. Huh. Interesting. Thank you, Captain. I right, need food. I always love the fucking theme music here. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Like taking candy for time to head on over to Regulus. Right. No time to shine. How this do you? Oh. You are truly a god among mortals. The Messiah. <laughs> That's. I'll surely be able to assemble the telescope with these parts. I cannot waste another second. The time has come to seal myself in my laboratory. You may find me in Montwise. And once my mm. telescope is complete. Ha ha ha! Oh, the mysteries of the night sky! Then perhaps we shall pay him a visit soon. Just keep your expectations low. Alright. And that ends that. Okay. Right. Three. Is the only chapter three. Le chapter two left is. Chats with level 37? So that might be a little too spicy for me. Hmm. I mean, Oswald's is probably next. Yeah. Where? Let's head to the. Do I want this team? Actually, this team is not too bad. Sure, let's rock this team. I had business here. Takes revenge upon Harvey, the man who framed him for the murder of his unwavering child. Makes his back to Cunning Creek. This is where his home once stood. Damn, he got fucking sent far away. Cunning Creek. All I had was right here. And in the blink of an eye, it was taken from me. Harvey. I shall have my revenge on you! <sighs> Where is he hiding? I've no idea where he went after the fire. Perhaps there's some trace of him where my home once stood. And one other matter weighs heavily on my mind. Right then, to work. Good voice work, but goddamn he edgy. I get it, but like, he edgy. Tell me something. You escaped, right? Wouldn't be here otherwise. How did it feel? Hmm. Nice. Head home. What was the job you got here? Oh, 
Oh, what? There's other things you can do? To get another license. Oh, shit. I didn't... Oh, I never thought to think of that. Ooh. So what do I need? Damn it. So I need to get a rare herb of grace bud, three of them, and then gladly give you a license and a license. Oh, okay. So I might actually have room for more licenses. I just need to go hunt down the other job places. Well. I mean, I'm right here, I might as well. Hmm. What? Yo, I got it, let's go. What? Let's go. Hidden items galore. Again, it's not really hidden if it's in a house, but... Person, fuck, she's like dying. The Lux Crit. I'm glad I have the random item I need for you. To read this equal to the apprentice cleric, to eat a new Delsa grape, to meet Roland, the floral designer. I'm not gonna steal from a kid, but I see, I see. How did I miss it? Oh shit, this is Oswald's house. And I missed this. Completely missed that. Probably wouldn't have put the pieces together still, but damn, damn. My home. Five years ago, it was reduced to ash. I ventured into the nearby forest to be alone with my thoughts. It was part of my daily routine. A bad habit. When I returned, everything was gone. I was seized by the town guards, and haven't been back since. Welcome home, my dear. Hmm. I see the conference was a rousing success. <laughs> Indeed. Forgive me for being away so long. Welcome home, Papa! Oh, Helena, my dear. Aren't you tired? Let me take 
stranger things. Aww. They're a bit heavy for you yet, but uh, I appreciate the offer. Here, take this instead. I searched all over, and I'm sorry to say I found nothing better to give you. Come now. When else can you bury yourself in your studies if not at a conference? Come, Elena. There is math to teach you. Yay! <laughs> okay, unrealistic, but... <laughs> oh, you too. Forgetting something? Hmm? Am I? You didn't say I'm home yet! I'm home. Damn. It's so quiet now. Time to search for clues. Harvey and I both sought the one true magic. He wanted my research, no doubt. Which would lead him to my study. Alright. As I suspected, my study is intact. I gotta sneeze. It's coming. And what's more, he's stolen every last one of my formulae. Were they ordinary spells, I would not miss them. The one true magic, however, requires vastly more complicated calculations. I built those equations myself, all but the last missing piece. Harvey, however, took a different approach. So why did he want my formulae? You there! Who are you? Stop, criminal scum! Oh my! Oh, my, my, my. Lady Clarissa, my assistant. It's been quite some time. It is I, Oswald. Have you looked after the study during my prolonged absence? Hmm. Hmm. Oswald? You? What a fanciful tale. Huh? Oswald is locked away on Frigid Isle. No, I am here. I have escaped, as you can see. What proof have you? Okay. <laughs> you think me an imposter? You have his figure, but that is not enough. His voice, his hair, his demeanor... The research gathered here is a pile of riches to the people of this town. There are ruffians who would go so far as to impersonate Oswald if it meant stealing his work. What peculiar reasoning. One cannot arrive at the truth without considering every possibility. That is what the Oswald I know told me. <laughs> now. Hmm. Hmm. The real Oswald would know how to withstand my magic. And so the result of this duel shall determine whether you be true or not. My dear assistant. You never were the type to let go of a pet theory. Very well. I have no choice but to help you test your hypothesis. 
and give you your answer. Allow me to lighten your load. To work. Yeah. What to do? Hmm. Ah. Bring it on. Excuse me. Oh, oh, I knew you would. Huh? Oh dear. <laughs> How's that for you? I'm just getting warmed up. I'm investing in you. Many thanks. Cleaning time. You're too kind. Thinking. I call down the light. Ready? You're too kind. Bring it up. How's that? I knew you would. Two turns. This is actually. Glass is in session. Where was I? Repent! Holy light! Illuminate the darkness! Oh dear. Holy light! Illuminate the darkness! Here goes! Arrow of fortune! Cleaning time. You're too kind. I need a plan. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. May your wounds be healed. Many thanks. Uh, here goes. I'm able to steal. Don't mind if I do. Red. Watch me. You're too kind. Cleaning. Uh, you're too kind. I take what I want. Magn Magnificent. Are you satisfied? Such power. Welcome back, Oswald. Thank you. I hope I haven't injured you. If that were enough to exhaust me, I... I have always believed you were innocent, you know? Oh? On what ground? On the grounds that you are who you are. I'm afraid I don't follow. <laughs> I am delighted to see you still take things far too seriously. Hmm. Ah, yes. So, <laughs> what why an enduring have you characteristic. To search for Harvey. I see he left no trace here. Harvey. You, Oswald, were the only scholar of magic present at the scene. That was the justification provided for the guilty verdict. Yet there Harvey was, standing before me while everything burned. And still they insist he was not there. So I must also suspect the guard unit that restrained me. I shall investigate their ties to Harvey. Your husband was a guard, yes? Might he know anything? Uh, no, I'm afraid not, Oswald. Hmm. Then I shall ask the townsfolk. What will you do once you've investigated this case? Hmm. Ooh. Got information on encounter me. Not only to help investigations are my specialty, and there's a trick to getting reliable testimony. Don't ask too many questions. Shit. 
general scene of the crime, information was told by the police. The longer you let them, you let, oh my god. The longer you let the wool grow, the more there is to shear. One piece of advice, keep that in mind. What? Hmm. Ruffians from the Eastern Continent. Captain Steventer is doing. Hmm. That is peculiar. What? Part of the town of the merchants near to go to ability to extract worthwhile information has been the most. Everyday gossip decided to prof profitable career selling what she knows to an information broker. Stevenar has been in charge of this town's guards for a few years now, but no one has a kind word to say. Secret ties to some strange scholar. Supposedly someone stole too many from Florence in five years now. Well, I mean, that's pretty, you know, kind of, it's kind of nailing the coffin. What's who vividly, vividly remembers the day five years ago when flames claimed a wife and her child in Cunning Creek. Something about the ensuing investigation never felt quite right. So we probably wonders if this more the story. Investigated the incident for only a few days before calling it quits. I think they need at least a couple of weeks to get something at the bottom so horrific. As I thought, the guards are my best lead. It was Stenvar, their captain, who... It is my understanding he had a clandestine meeting with Harvey before the... Mm -hmm. He ought to still be at the guard's main outpost. I shall seek him out. Right. Lady Clarissa. You aim to have your revenge. Hmm. Do you remember my husband? Ethan? How could I forget him? He referred you to me. He passed away. Not long after the incident. Oh, shit. He washed up in the harbor. He'd no reason to do such a thing. And... Damn. Before the incident, well... Then will you not investigate his death? Nothing begets nothing, though revenge is nothing, Oswald. It is empty and hollow. <sighs> Even so, I must go. Damn. Damn. Captain of the Guard. <laughs> Jesus! Fuck! It's scaring the shit out of me. Mercy, stop it. Lay down. Oh my god. It's giving me a fucking heart attack, these dogs. Say! How'd you come to know that couple? Bee broke into my laboratory. Ethan, who have brought the intruder. I had a glimpse of my research where I can my wife is resistant. She has been researching its second source. Outpost, danger level 18. Right. Let's go, shall we? Time to clean up the filth. Here goes! That's a coming. Oh dear. Lays on, oh sacred flame. What? <laughs> I need a huh? fire burn. 
Too slow. Burn, baby, burn. <clears throat> what to do? <sighs> Very well. Lays <laughs> on, oh sacred flame. Bring it on. Thinking time. What to do? Eat this! I'm just getting... Be healed. Fire. They're broken. It oh, oh dear. <laughs> May the sacred flame guide you, or something like that. Alright, I have been a while since I checked here. 5,000, 1,000. I want to get your, your main thingies. At random. I want to attack that. Yeah, that's good. Man. It's pretty hard to get that. It's pretty hard to argue against that. Guards of honor. <laughs> Let's play. Whoa. Cleaning time. Guardian. Hmm. Bring it on. Take this! Thinking time. Uh, and done. Uh, slow. Where were uh, Lays on. Oh, sacred flame. So where uh, did I go wrong? Mr. Officer. Uh, uh, my turn. How'd you die so fucking fast? Hang in there. Another chance. Very well. Oh, he only has 500 health. Yeah, that might do it. Mm. That might be it. With the lion's grace. What to do? Darkness descend. Too easy. Yeehaw! Very well. Now die! Hmm. Now and die. done. A priest thing. Ready? Playing this through the night. There! I'm just getting. Now then. Very well. Yeah. May the sacred flame guide you, or something like that. Hello. I suggest you get out of my way. My turn. <laughs> Darkness descend. <laughs> Fire. You're finished. So <laughs> very well. <laughs> May the sacred flame guide you. That all. What to do? <laughs> Here goes. Hmm. Where was I? Take that! I'll shake you in the stream. So oh, sorry. My turn. Huh? Eat this. To work. Now die. Here comes. All start. Time to divvy up the earnings. Guards have. Up we go. I suggest you get out of my way. What the my fuck? turn. Shadow bat. Yeah, let's just run. All right. We don't need to fight anything here. Not really. Give everyone a good old top off. In we go. Who are you? Damn. Bear-like build. 
Wait, bear like thing. I remember you. Come on, auto play. Really wish it would stay on auto play. Einstein. In the flesh. You're presumed dead in a botched escape attempt from Frigid Isle. I seek Harvey. Hmm. You met with him in secret before my family burned. None other than the late husband of Lady Clarissa attested as much. But you refused to hear him, and had him killed instead. In exchange for all... <laughs> my, my. You scholars certainly are a shrewd lot. Hmm. I confess, I aided and abetted Harvey. Facts are malleable things, you see. The powerful can bend them to their will. Provided they have enough coin. I'm rather fond of coin. It can't be bent the same way, see? Hell, I'd do anything for it. It has given me all you see before. <sighs> hmm. Quit stalling. Where is he? Wish I knew. Doesn't matter, though. Here there you go. You know too much now. Ah, oh, yes. Of course. Oswald B. Vanstad. Let's see how malleable those bones of yours are. What a waste of time. <laughs> Yeehaw! Take this! Ready? Darkness descend. Very well. Big boots with the darkness. Blaze on, O oh sacred flame. So sorry. I need a plan. Indulge me for a moment. Electricity. That's all. Thinking time. Huh? Indulge me for a moment. My turn. You're too kind. Yeehaw! Huh? Arrow of fortune! Nice! Yes. To work. Say your prayers! Uh, Blaze on! Oh, sit. Very good! <laughs> Destroy evidence, that's fine. Where was I? <laughs> that's pretty funny. Come, little lamb. Here go! My turn. As swift as a snake. You're too kind. Ready? You're too kind. Now then. Calculations complete. <laughs> now then. To work. That's how it's done. Yeah! Cleaning time. You're open. Thinking time. Feel my wrath. This is coming to spell. Indulge me for a moment. My turn. Does not count it as a spell. Okay. Shit. I want to try something. Mm. Hang in there. The tide is turned. Here goes. Don't. <laughs> I'm investing in you. The tide is turning. Where was I? Ah! 
see how I strut. I want to see if it's power level and see how much damage I can squeeze out of him. Get on. <laughs> Ready? Eat this! Oh dear. That's how it's done. Here we I go. need a play. Feel my in pursuit of knowledge. How much damage is this gonna do? I have increased magic intensity, increased element damage up, and I have condensed super. Roar thunder. Four thousand. Bring it on. Not bad for a level, whatever the fuck level he is. He's, he's on a high level. No armor now. Lord. I'm just getting warmed up. Don't mind if I do. My turn. Oh dear. Be healed. Thank you. No, thank you. Class is in session. I'm just getting warmed up. Don't mind if I do. What to do? You're too kind. Very well. Thank you. Take that! No, then. Roar thunder! To work. I think not. Thinking time. Strike them down. My turn. Oh, it's one now? Afraid of the dark. So that's your weakness. That's thrown A for you. Coming right I up. appreciate it, Particio. To work. Be healed. Sorry about that. Ready? <laughs> Sorry, but I won't hold as swift as a snake. What? Uh, uh, you're too kind. Think. Calculations complete. Strike them down. Here go. <laughs> Arrow of four got you. Four thousand is sixteen. Okay. Maybe next time. Acts of Adams. Do I get money for it? P please have mercy. Spare me my life. You can spare my it life. is not your life I want. It's Harvey's. Where is he? Uh, uh, I'm telling you the truth. Please believe me. Spare me your sniveling. You're sure he told you nothing? Oh, oh yes, that's right! The research he stole from you, it's been sent to Montwise. Oh, on Harvey's order. Montwise? Has he taken it to the library there? My precious cord! Ah, but he's a careful man. Did he know I would come for him? Hmm. Montwai. A town on the eastern continent. The city where Harvey and I met. Harvey wanted Stenvar to tell me where he'd gone. That's why he let Stenvar live. He knew I would escape, 
that I would follow him. You want me to follow you, don't you, Harvey? If so, I'll play along. Oswald! You're going after him. I've done what I came here to do. You must not be seen with me. I remain a wanted man. But I am your loyalist. <sighs> My husband knew. Before he died, he made me swear an oath. Bear no resentment against anyone, no matter what happens to me. Live your life for you. I wish to honor his memory. To forgive all transgressions against me. To devote what time I have left to study. How peculiar. Does an oath to the dead hold any meaning? No, I must confess. This is... This is simply a show of my love. Hmm. Oswald, please. Your family rests in the ground. Will you not visit them? I forgot what love was a long time ago. I must find Harvey. That is everything. Oswald. Oswald puts the town he once called home behind him. He can't bear to visit the graves of his wife and daughter. Not yet. How can he face them when he's done nothing to avenge them? The fire within him yet burns. This he swears. He shall not return until it's all over. Until the fire within... ...burns. <laughs>